Hey guys, welcome back to Spence Outdoors. Today, uh, I got some trail cameras to pick up and stuff. Um, but, come along with the adventure with me. I guess we're going to see what we can get ourselves into. Um, probably see my black and tan back there somewhere. He's going nuts uh, about the other dog. but uh, Hopefully he don't bark too much so you guys can still hear me. But, anyways, see what we can get into. Well, guys, I made down the, the trail camera spot. I put it on this little trail right behind my girlfriend's house. Uh, but I just wanted to see what was back here because, uh, as you know, I got coon dogs and I was wanting to catch a coon. And uh, I figured they'd be down this creek trying to get frogs late at night. And this is right behind the house, so it'd be a good spot to cut a dog loose right here. Uh, there is a road like 30 yards away, but not really many people go down that road that much. So I ain't really too concerned about that. But I wanted to see if there's also deer crossing this path or what's happening because uh, I had it all up there up on top of that hill and it's a little field and stuff but I just wanted to see what was crossing here imagine it's going to be a whole bunch of coons and maybe some deer so that should be cool I'll let you guys know what I see so guys this is me setting up the camera the other day uh, the time is wrong I set it up right and then uh, you know how it goes if you have a truck camera they're kind of all over the place but uh, this is me setting it up. I got it on uh, three, takes three pictures at a time. Um, right here at 11.25 a.m. it says, which would be probably 11.25 at night, probably be p.m., uh, we got a big fat coon. Uh, he's a pretty decent sized coon. Um, and he makes his way through there. And then at 6.36 p.m., which would be a.m., uh, we got a doe. It looks to be, and then we got another deer back here. We really can't tell what that is, but looks juicy either way. And there they are, and uh, they kind of just make their way down the path. Um, here at 11:14 a.m. It says p.m. It's a.m. Um, it took something, but I don't know what. I'll probably stick moving. Um, here at 11:30, 11:38 at night, took another picture. Don't know what of yet. And then we got the big fat Ricky. So he's coming about he's coming out about eleven at night. Um, <clears throat> so that means I got to cut my dogs at eleven if I want to cut cut a dog down there. Then this is me picking it up. Not too interesting, but we did get two raccoons on there and a couple of deer. Uh, I think I need to leave it out there for like a month or so and just see what else is going on. I plan on setting up a coon feeder down there and up on top of the field. Uh, try to get these raccoons patterned a little bit more so I know when to cut my dog in there because I do have a young dog once my dog gets a little bit older and gets a couple coons under him then I'll take the feeders out because I don't want my dogs cutting off feeders uh, especially because I plan on competition hunting my dog but yeah thought that was pretty cool especially for just behind the house there about 100 yards so I just wanted to show you guys that so we're back uh, setting this SD card back into this trail camera across that uh, path again. You just guys seen the pictures of it. Um, we had two coons and uh, a couple deer come in over the three nights it was out. Um, I just wanted to see. I got just anxious. I wanted to see what was on it and all that. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is set a coon feeder out here and just see if my dogs can get the, I can get the coons pattern on camera so that way I can cut Reaper in here and hopefully he uh, strikes a quick track. Um, I won't keep that up very long, just just until he gets a couple coons under his belt, and then uh, I think I'll pull all the coon feeders back out and just leave them, or bring them back home. I won't send them back out again. I just want him to be comfortable. But one thing I want uh, to mention is I'm one of those weird coon hunters that like uh, the coons are coming up right here, as you've seen in the pictures, and then the deer are over here on this trail. Um, I'm glad that is because if I do cut Reaper down here as a young dog, I want him to know that he's supposed to chase that coon, not that deer. Um, I do like that. A lot of coon hunters, I think, uh, try to stay away from the deer, and that's never going to happen in the woods. Uh, there's that, both of their homes, and you're always going to run across a deer in the woods. So I want my dog to be 100% not to run that deer and run that coon. Uh, I think that's the best thing for a young dog, uh, just to teach him now as he's young and not later. Um, but my camera battery's dying, so I'll see you guys back at the house. So guys, I wanted to show you my uh, other coon hound. Uh, he's a four-year-old tring walker uh, male coon hound. Um, right now he has a bark collar on because he's in the pen, and uh, he likes to bark a lot. But uh, we got his pen set up. Uh, 
he has a pretty big pen um, but uh, yeah I hunt him still but he just uh, never turned out to be quite a coon dog as I thought he would be uh, he can tree one every now and then but uh, he's nothing special so he's uh, put up most of the time I let him out just to run and stuff but uh, I really don't take him hunting quite as much as I I should anymore because he just uh, he just likes to run around and play he don't really want to hunt and uh, if I take him by himself he does he does try to tree and stuff he's just not that good but um, I, I'm keeping him around because uh, all of my fiance she loves him uh, but I'm also keeping around to teach my other uh, coon dog some stuff because like I said he does he does know what he's doing he just uh, he likes to play too much but my other coon hound uh, he's gonna be something special I think and that's the one that should be outside but my fiance likes to baby him a little too much too and uh, keeps him inside so which a little weird having a humongous black and tan inside the house but anyways uh, I'll show you him so this uh, right here is my uh, eight month old uh, black and tan coon hound um, to me this dog uh, he's gonna be something special he just has that hunting instinct that I've always wanted in a dog uh, there's some things I like about him some things I don't like about him uh, But uh, the thing I like about him is he just has a that he just has a hunting instinct in him. Uh, he wants to hunt no matter what. Uh, it could it could be freezing. It could be a hundred degrees outside. He just wants to hunt. But uh, he's peeing on camera. This dog, I tell you, his sense of humor is uh, not very funny. But uh, yeah, he just has a hunt in him. I took him out the other night. Uh, I laid a couple drags with him over the couple months and uh, I laid a couple drags with him and he does pretty good on the drag so I thought I'd just take him out give him assessment see how he was turning out but I, I thought I'd just take him out to see what he's uh, turning out to be and uh, the dog just didn't disappoint uh, he didn't tree or nothing like that but just overall for being eight months old and uh, me showing just a couple drags I haven't ever showed him a live coon yet I'm trying to catch one but um, he went uh, hunting and he went over a thousand yards and uh, my GPS on my Garmin lost communication three times. Uh, he went through four fields. I had to go onto the neighbor's property and get him and stuff. Uh, so he didn't, he, he went hunting. He, uh, that's one thing about him that he'll do. He'll, he'll go hunting. He ain't scared of nothing. Um, I just got a feeling though that that dog's going to be something special. Uh, I'm not just saying that. I've hunted with a lot of dogs that this, this ain't good. Like my walker over there I love walkers I've always had walkers but he just ain't nothing special but this dog's gonna be something special uh, I'm looking forward to showing him guys on the or I'm looking forward to showing him on the channel a lot more cuz uh, he's gonna be a coon dog like there's a cat right here and he wants to eat its face off so those cats torment him all day long and he can't stand it but uh